Carry. Now, one thing I do want to mention while I'm still on the screen, you see where it says please click to select and click to select? Each one of these needs to have something selected before it'll let us price. I'm not going to do any glazing. And click to select. And we're just going to do a heavy distressing and maybe all holes so we can kind of see what these kind of look like. There we go. Okay, so here we have it. All set up. And then we've got one more elevation. So you can have all these windows open at once if you really need. Now, we're going to close the elevation and I'm going to close my global specifications. Now, you can do them both one of two ways. You can click close or you can just go up here and click on it again. It'll go away. With my bill of materials open, I want to take a real quick look. Notice as I highlight something up here, it highlights it on the plan. Makes it really easy to find the items that you're working on. You can delete things from your bill of materials if you want to. Just highlight it, click on delete. Non-plan items, we're going to look at that real quick. Um, say we need an extra stick of crown molding. Non-plan items, I'm just going to open it up. This is the crown. This is the crown I was placing on the rest of the design. Just drag drop. Additional products, you need an uh, extra 2x4 or you need a sheet of sheetrock, something like that. Click on the little page here. Scroll all the way down. If it's something you're getting from the factory, choose your factory, you know, your, your manufacturer and put the uh, put the quote in there if it's from the factory. Otherwise, use my products. 2 by 4 price, 10 bucks. I have no idea what a 2 by 4 is. Probably more than 10 bucks these days. Okay, my products, 2 by 4 10 dollars. Plan items, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to close this guy out. Um, we've looked at 3D. Isometric view, basically the same thing as 3D, only in black and white. Grayscale. works all the same. Okay. Manufacturer report. We don't have one because it's sample catalog. So there's no manufacturer report here. So we'll do customer report. Now my reports, because I did choose sample catalog, they're not going to have any pricing in them. To choose your catalog, you must click on it over here. To let it know that that's what you want. So sample catalog. Make sure that you have include catalog and customer report. You can change all your settings over here. Shipping fees, you've got percentages and dollars. Um, the one thing I do want to talk to you about is installation. If you put installation in here, this is per cabinet. So if I come over here, pricing. Come on, pricing. Okay, so pricing tab, there we go. I don't know why it didn't want to listen to me the first time I clicked it. Okay, installation, $50 on each cabinet. If you need to change it, just click on it. Make it 80 bucks. Click out of it to stay. If you want to do a pricing for the whole entire design instead of per cabinet, leave that blank. Come over here. You'll notice this one stayed at 80, so we want to do 1,080. And then enter on your keyboard just to leave that in there. Um, we'll click back on the include. You can put your logo in here. Add a page header and footer if you'd like. Project settings. Remember I told you at the beginning we'd have a note back here. Here's my note and my customer. Dealer name, I guess. Dealer name over here. Customer name down here. Okay. Back to catalog settings. We're ready to take the view of the report. So view report. Here's my report all my information in here. My note again shows up right here on my report. Scroll through. Here's our global settings that we set up for our cabinet. Here's all of our cabinets and yes there's zero pricing in here because I'm in sample catalog so there is no pricing in sample catalog. You can come down here discounted price. If we had a percentage and stuff that would all be in here. Installation 1080 shows up at the bottom. And there's the last page with all the breakdown of everything in it. And close to get out of there. Um, you can do a multiple report. Oh, not in sample catalog. Sorry. 
I forget. Um, combined report, multiple quote report. This is basically allows you to do um, one report with um, up to five uh, different um, styles on it. So you do five different door styles, five different colors, whatever. Combined report, you can just take that report, bundle it with your um, elevations and layout, and email that to somebody. Order by email. This you can set, use this to order um, right straight from the factory. You'll notice that when I click on this, the design is already there. You're probably going to want to add, you know, your uh, your um, customer report and stuff in there as well, and then cancel that because we're not doing it. Automatic updates. Just real quick through here. This allows you to um, keep your program updated. Um, I have a lot of updates in here. I have a lot of catalogs. You won't have all of these again. You'll notice that some of these are check marked. Okay, if we can find one, here we go. Some of them are check marked. Any one that's check marked is already installed on your system. If I go over here to my sample catalog, I can find or not sample, but yeah, it won't let me open. But I can go over here and find Cardell in my catalog list, um, along with Show Place and anything else that shows up in here. Um, so if you want to, if you have ones in here that aren't, just click them, download them, and it'll install the catalog for you click update to go. I do have a tutorial on that that helps you out as well. EDI, if your manufacturer is set up for electronic ordering, you can use EDI. Report a problem. Please use this when you run across a technical difficulty. Not, not, a, uh, not a training issue, but when you run across something technical, I've got a wrong cabinet, this or that, that's where you want to use this. Report a problem opens up a new window, type in your description, your description, attach the file, submit, easy sneezy. Comes right into me, we can track it with tickets after this. Um, help takes you into help and video tutorials takes you to our website and the video tutorial page. All these tutorials are available, select the one you want, takes you down here. You can download direct, which will download it. You can save to your computer, or you can watch the YouTube version. Um, go back here. 3D gallery. I know we've taken a look at some things. We'll get that opening up here for us. Here we go. Here's our 3D gallery. Some of the fun things you can do in Pro Kitchen. And I'll let you log in. It's we're www.prokitchensoftware.com. Click on gallery. Um, you can check out all of our products, our support, our training, all that good stuff. Gonna close out of that. We're gonna come back in here, and we are going to take a quick 3D one last time, just to review. Ooh, ooh. Now that's some crackle. Okay. Um, yeah. Ugly? <laughs> Alright, we're going to close this guy. Okay, and I opened a, de a design while we were gone. And, well, you didn't know you were gone. I paused you for a second. Opened a new design. Same design, um, just a little more touched up to it. A little more refined. I used some user shapes to make that guy. Use some user shapes to make a column. I've got a speckly all punched cabinet there. I really need to go in and change that guy though. Door style, distressing. We want just some, we'll just do some light sanding. Whoops. Did it stay? There we go. It did stay. Okay, there we go. Just some light sanding. That's much, much better. You'll notice I changed the image in the window. Just a little fun thing we can do. Um, that's actually Mount McKinley in Alaska. So, there you have it. I've also changed the color in the... Uh, crown molding, put a different color insert in there. So it's decked up a little bit. I didn't put all the goodies in there. I did use a wall user shape back here. Um, so, but there we go. There's just a quick little 
little design. Now this little guy, you get some practice on you. You could do a kitchen like this in 10 minutes if you get practice. Five minutes if you get really, really good. So maybe not five minutes, but 10 minutes you should be able to do something like that. So anyways, this has been the Pro Kitchen Basic Tutorial. Uh, we've run a little bit over time. We're an hour and 22 minutes so far. I hope it didn't take you away from anything important. Well, that's more important than designing a kitchen. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or need any information. Our phone number is... Um, uh, one, what is my phone number? Ha it is 617-868-5151 and that'll take you right into my sales department and or you can go to customer service from there if you have technical questions. So, Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you out.